An update tonight on a story we first brought you in our outcry series. Investigators are looking for evidence that may lead to the body of Ella May Begay. And now a search and rescue group is working to bring her family some closure. And Sasha Lennon to talk with them about their search along a rural Navajo road. She's been missing since June of 2021. Why did my head in the just out there? How long she laid there? Was she alive? How long? What was she thinking? Like all of that. The family of Ella Mae Begay hoping for answers after she went missing from her home on the Navajo Nation. And now they're reaching out to a nonprofit for help. I'm going to say over 40 items because um, they did pick up some bones in areas that I, we took that and we put it aside and I had the dogs check them to see if they had any indication on any of those bones and none of them indicated anything. Bernadine Beal founded Four Corners Canine Search and Rescue. Beal saw the need and wanted to help her people. These families weren't getting this help and I'm like, man, you know, I, I have the dog, we have the training, we're, we're a resource, you know, and I wanted to help because no one else is doing it. The Begay family reaching out to her for help, searching along Navajo Route 5, looking for any sign that Ella May was there. We would focus on Route 5 because um, there's an officer with the missing persons unit out of Crown Point. He had already planned on searching Route 5 like a few months ago. The group of roughly 20 volunteers searched the 28 mile stretch and they found several items from phones to clothing and even jewelry. We're looking for eyeglasses because Ella May wore eyeglasses. We focused on her size of clothing um, and then we focused on cell phones and um, shoe size. Her shoe size is what we focused on. And that's what helped move the search along a little quicker. This is the second search for LMA. The first was back in 2021, right outside of Farmington. This comes as investigators recently arrested the man they believe killed her. Preston Tolf had admitted to taking the vehicle of LMA and LMA being in the vehicle with him. LMA was at her home. Um, there's a little bit of discrepancies as to if she gave him the keys or if he took them and that he later um, battered her and disposed of the body. He thought he may have killed her and then went on to his home in Thoreau. Toth pleaded not guilty. Navajo Nation authorities had previously identified him as a person of interest in the case. Toth has yet to tell investigators where he left LMA, thus why the family called Four Corners Canine Search and Rescue. Back in 2000, 19, 18, you know, uh, MMIP, MMIW really, you know, I never really knew anything about it, didn't hear about it, but, and then um, LMA went missing and that's when I was like, you know, um, something needs to happen. She says the work they do isn't easy, so she understands why people don't do it. There's agencies, law enforcement agencies that are supposed to be here helping the families and it's just like we've given up on our own people. She plans to help as much as she can and hopefully bring closure to her people. Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News. Right now, she and her dogs are playing the intermediary between families and law enforcement. She says if all agencies would talk together and share information, cases would move quicker. <laughs>